what is going on you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it is your girl choice and on this channel we make choices daily okay if you're new here what you're doing subscribe because it's lit over here anyways i decided to start this vlog because i'm trying on some things that i ordered from Shein. i ordered a little just a few little pieces i guess i'm having a rainbow picnic um and my color is orange so i'm gonna show you guys what i got so this top does not go with this bottom obviously still orange it could still go together i like how it looks together but it doesn't go together i just was trying the skirt on after i tried the set on so i'm gonna show you guys the set because this top goes with these pants and don't mind all of this over here i'm gonna do a little um salon tour home salon tour soon but anyways this sir this skirt is super cute this this is super cute but i feel like i ordered something to go with the skirt and i don't know where it is because i ordered this so long ago and i'm just now opening it because i had it but i didn't open it so anywho this is how the back looks the back the back looks a little funny but i think the way it's sitting like that because i have it to the side but i i feel like it's supposed to go on the side i'm not sure but i'm really feeling how the this top looks with this bottom but i don't have shoes to go with this so let me show you guys the shoes that i did get from Shein. So I did get these shoes. Don't mind my toes, they are jagged. But I don't like how like the side of my foot like pokes out a lot because my feet are fat. And I thought these were like wide. They are, but it's just my foot hangs over. So <sighs> I'm not really liking them. They were not to go with this. They were to go with the set. So let me put the set on okay so here's the set these are the pants they have pockets they go really far down because i have them all the way up here i got these shoes they're going to be covered anyway but i don't know if i'm going to wear those or if i'm going to wear these platform shoes that i also got from Shein. this is how they look you know it, it gives me height so i feel like i should wear these just because you're still not going to see the shoe anyway so i might as well just wear something that gives me height so that my pants could stay clean the problem is i feel like i'm gonna like these for another outfit which is this i found the shirt the other shirt that i bought but i think i ordered another shirt so i'm still confused but these jeans I didn't get from Shein. I also got some, um, what are, these are dollhouse, I think. But these are just some like flared jeans. I'm gonna try it on for you guys. But what do you guys think about this being my orange outfit for the picnic? Because I don't wanna wear this skirt to a park. I just really like the skirt so I bought it and I think it was only like $6. I believe this set was only like like $13 or something like that. I'm not sure, but I've always wanted like a, a cute little linen set. But I think I'm going to go and get another color. You could wear the top with a different bottom and the bottom with a different top. So, I'm feeling it, you know. Um, but, but let's try the jeans on with this top that I got from Shein. And I also think if I wear those these or these i could just wear this bag that i also got from Shein, but like a couple of years ago i got this bag it doesn't look cheap like it's sturdy and it's holding up well so yeah just a cute little white bag with some white shoes yeah but tomorrow i have an event to go to as well okay so tomorrow is not really like an event event but neither one is an event event but it's a 90s it's a 90s theme but it's 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 for i don't i don't know how to say it like 
you know how your mood is a certain way because of what the like what the event is for like it's don't get me wrong it's definitely an event like I don't, I don't know how to walk around it, but basically, it's to celebrate my friend's life who passed away. So, it's, it's like, it has a, like, a down kind of, like, feeling to it, to me. Because I, I don't feel right, like, looking for an outfit for it. Like, that's how I feel about, like, funerals and stuff like that. Like, I don't feel like oh I gotta find something to wear and da da da. I just put on what whatever comes to my mind at the moment type of thing. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but that's how I am. But I love the fact that they made it to where it's a real celebration and that like it's it's gonna be revolved around her and things that she liked in her time and stuff like that. Like it's gonna be beautiful. I can't wait. So it's nineties theme. And I'm 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 scared, y'all, because let me tell you why. I had to just put these press ons on because I didn't have time to go to the nail salon and get my little 90 nails done. But this is gonna this gonna have to do. This is gonna have to do. This is 90s enough, okay? And then I can't even show y'all my full outfit because the another piece to my outfit is at Satiria's house. So what we finna do is show you the basic the base of the outfit and then y'all see the outfit when we get there tomorrow so i guess it's gonna be a weekend weekend in my life vlog i'm not sure because the rainbow picnic is not till next weekend so y'all get that next weekend and then i have a wedding to go to this week as well so those two things will be in next week vlog okay so y'all might not see the vision right now because i don't have my main piece so basically i ordered this shirt for a backup shirt just in case i can't get a, a basic tank top because the way i wanted the tank top was like i don't know how to, i just wanted a basic tank top like it looks like a men's tank top but i wanted a girl's tank top and to cut it and put the vest over it the vest is the piece that's missing and i got these shoes on because this is real 90s um and when i told satiri i was wearing a hat she got mad at me because she doesn't see the vision not because it's a hat but because she don't know what hat i'm wearing she's like what hat so this is the hat that i'm gonna wear let's see if my head got any bigger okay i'm gonna have to wear a bra because this this shirt is not like it's too revealing so i don't know what kind of jewelry i don't know what kind of jewelry to go with but this hat is definitely giving 90s so i'm gonna wear this hat wait till she sees the hat she's gonna be like oh okay you wearing a night like a hat a real hat for the time but anyways so this is the only bag that i have that i feel like matches the 90s vibe because i i, I think i might be lying but like not that i have here i don't want to be too matchy matchy because this would be matchy matchy and it's similar but i always wear this bag because i love it and i've never worn this bag so i feel like i should just wear this just because like but with this bag i don't need the i feel like i don't need the vest if that makes sense i don't feel like i should wear the bag on my shoulder i feel like i should carry it like this like how how they would carry it in the 90s and then you know i won't have this my stomach won't be showing because my the vest it, it fits like up to here but you'll still like see the shirt at the same time i think i'm gonna heavily outline my lips with um you know pencil and i might do eyeliner and call it a day i don't know if i'm gonna do eyeliner but i might i don't really like eyeliner but here's the fit for that <laughs> how y'all feel about it I don't really I don't really know how I feel about the shoes because they're white like I don't want them to be white 
but I, I might I could change them but I just don't know into what like and this shirt this shirt perfectly matches these shoes but I don't want to wear like the flat shoes like I want I want the platform I, like I just I feel like I feel like the pa platform is more 90s than than this shoe this shoe is more cultural just to mention too because I only went with these jeans because I could not find my boyfriend jeans but these were the closest I had to them and also they have the buttons going all the way up which is another 90s type of thing so that's why I chose these but honestly I probably would have wore like big baggy boyfriend jeans at my waist um, and sneakers if I was okay with my stomach being out but I'm not so anyways I'll be back so here's how the skirt looks with this shirt um still not feeling it it's not giving anything at all whatsoever not even with the shoes <laughs> and let's see not even with the bag <laughs> it's not giving anything look at what this kid done done what he did Oh my goodness. I don't know if I mentioned today is me and Dallas anniversary. 13 years. <laughs> 13 years. No, it's not. It really don't feel like it, but it do. It's in, it feels like longer, but it also feels good. It feels good. But I might wear this skirt if we go out. Because I'm feeling it. So somebody um somebody knocked on, on the door, rung the rung the doorbell, but the ring doorbell, not not the not the house doorbell so i'm like because i was laying down on, on the bed and, and eris was in his bed i was trying to like make him go back to sleep but he wasn't trying to hear it but he <laughs> but when they rung it it was kind of light so i'm like i wasn't used to the doorbell but anyways i went and i'm looking at like mad creepy like try, like creeping trying to see like who is it and then i said he's just standing there i'm like who is it and he's like instacart I'm like, what? I didn't order no extra car. I said, you got the wrong door. Oh, wow. And then, um, he didn't say nothing. So I just left it and got my phone and I called down. And I'm like, you order Instacart? And he was like, yeah. So I was like, okay, all right. So oh. then I then I opened the door and the guy's on crutches. Oh, my God. I'm like, yo, I felt so bad because he just, he, he like, I got the right door. He sat there on the crutches just there, like, and then... I got my. He Instacarted me some flowers. Yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby. I took the half and she took the whole thing. Slow down. Baby. You took a trip, now we on your block, and it's like a ghost town. Baby, where did these niggas be at when they said they doing all this and all that? Hide the beef and you balls, you can't even pay me enough to react. You waking up in the crib, but sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. He's don't pay that nigga's songs in his party. I can't I'm over here asking Siri questions. What? It is looking mad dark. Because, excuse me. I'm asking Siri questions because I'm I'm a little bit confuzzled. I don't remember what oil I have next to my stove. You know how you have it in the pour. I think it's canola oil, which I gotta get rid of canola oil. I'm gonna stop using that per. But I know canola oil is not the vegetable oil, but what is a canola? Hey Siri. Stop playing with me, Siri. Hey, Siri. What is canola oil? Here's what I found from wikipedia.org. Okay. Canola oil is a vegetable oil derived from a variety of rapeseed that is low in erucic acid, as opposed to colza oil. Okay, thank you. I thought it was better, but um, maybe it is better than like other oils, but it's still not good so i've heard but so i'm going to use 
this canola oil in place of vegetable oil because technically it's vegetable oil, right? I'm making brownies. Yeah, butter all so I put done yeah peanut, peanut butter. butter all done. Mommy's making brownies, okay? Bread all done. Um, I bread was all done. bread all done. Yeah, bread is all done. I was gonna go out, but was... not gonna go out anymore. So, so since I'm not going out, I decided to egg, make egg. yeah egg, egg. In egg in the nest. Oh. Is the egg frozen? I can't. I cracked. Crack the egg. Crack the egg? Okay, let's crack it. Wow. You wanna whisk it? Come. Whisk the egg. Yeah, wow. So cool. So cool. Mix. Mix. Mix the food. Mix the food. <laughs> right now you're mixing water, oil, and an egg. Egg on this. Mm-hmm. Now we can add the brownie mix, okay? Mix so this is the brownie mix that I'm using. I never used it before, but I also never made brownies before, so it comes with the powder and the salted caramel is in here. And while I'm doing this, I ha I already preheated the um, oven to 325. So. I was gonna make some shrimp tacos, but I'm all out of cilantro. I threw it out earlier, and I really don't care for lettuce, like iceberg lettuce. I'd rather cilantro or um, like baby spinach, but I'm out. So I think I'm just gonna order food, and then we can eat brownies for dessert. Since, you know, that one had to work today when we have like we have a lot of stuff going on right now so um when we get a chance we'll be able to i'm literally all the way over here when we get a chance we'll be able to like celebrate but that will most likely be like uh, sunday so, open a refrigerator for what <laughs> I have to put some of the caramel, salted caramel, into the batter as well. Ooh. I can't really. So, so I'll just do that much. Ah! I dropped it. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. Okay, okay. So food. So food? I don't know what I was supposed to do that, but I did it anyway. I could taste that little hinty, that little salt hint. Listen, I don't know if this is gonna work, but it worked for me before. I don't remember how I did it because this uh, don't seem as sturdy as it did before, but I don't have a smaller pan. Hopefully this works. And it says in metal we have to what that long <laughs> why didn't i read that before i made it let me see how long the um betty crocker one takes because i was going to make the betty crocker one this one but i didn't make it because it says two eggs and i didn't really want to put two eggs in the brownie 
but oh it's the same amount of time well, i guess ooh, i guess that's normal <laughs> It was a little burnt anyway, a little crispy. The next day. She said that she was talking stuff. I just showed to Teria the hat. I put the hat on and what she said? It looked cute. Oh, it's she said, cute. oh, oh, okay, I get it, I get it. That's what she said. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it, I get it. All right, so. Just give an I wanna be down. That's what I was trying to give. I wanna be down. Go, go to my, well, that was one of my third, like my third upload ever. I covered that song on YouTube. Yes, you did. I just so, had the choke on one. Go look at Y'all, <laughs> I left my camera home. I left my camera home, so I'm going to try to get a few snippets if I got some storage. So, see y'all when I get there. I'm on the way. Just drop my son off. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. I look like weird because I have my mask on, but I'm literally about to walk out the door. I just got dressed. I just put on the black dress. Um, I'll probably show y'all when I get to my mom's house. It's just a simple black dress with some um, Adidas sandals and a hat because it's early in the morning and I'm about to go um, bring my son some stuff. He's not feeling well, so I gotta bring him some medicine. I'm going to pick him up, but I'm going to bring the the medicine with me. So we're out the door and turn off the lights. And we're going to my mom's house to get my kid. Like me, there's no limit, baby. Make you say, uh, no limit. I see murmur murder that. No limit, baby. Give you that ghetto D girl, no limit. Just know when you roll with a nigga like me, there's no limit, baby. You know you're fine, baby. You know that you're fine. I'm just trying to make you mine. I'm trying to make you mine. Yeah, I'm trying to make you mine. Put a tingle in your spine. We got a vibe, we got a wig. You should ride on it. 
All of the places I can take, you got is limitless. Hey y'all. So um, I'm at my parents' house and my son is doing good. He's just really tired, but he's he's fine. Right now I'm just um, catching a little bit of sun that's passing by <laughs> and relaxing a little bit. Um, taking a breather. I'm gonna go and get some fresh fruits and vegetables in a few because I'm over here. I like to go by my mom's house because she has um, near farms and stuff. So she has like authentic, um, or what we know to be authentic, <laughs> authentic um, fruits and vegetables. So I can take it with me home. Yes, the sun is here. Here, <laughs> the sun is there. The sun is acting real, like acting real Becky. <laughs> the sun is acting like Becky, all right? Like, stop, stop it, Becky, because I'm not playing with you. If you know, you know, the sun is acting real Becky. Need the sun to be Shaniqua, Shaquana. Like, I don't need the sun to be Becky. I don't. I don't need the sun to be Rachel. I don't need the sun to, like, yeah, it's giving Rachel. It left. It left from me. Like, come on. Come here, Shaquiqui. Tell them clouds to move. It's the clouds that's Becky. It's the clouds. If you know, you know. It's too hot outside. It's way too hot outside. Let's see if my mom will help me put the grocery away. <laughs> Just gonna pack up her refrigerator cream. Matter of fact, I'm only gonna put the everything stuff in the kitchen. So my mother planted her seeds for basil, cilantro, and mint. I wanna see. And then I'm gonna give y'all a little more of what I got. Basil, cilantro, and mint. Mad cute. Y'all want I got from the store. Got some strawberries and blueberries. Had to set my kid up for greatness because that's what he like. Got some squash, zucchini. Still, it's still a version of squash, right? I got three of those. I got some tamarind. Some raspberries for Eris. Mexican mango. I got Haitian mangoes too. No, actually, I didn't get Haitian mangoes. I got, got some cilantro. And I got some plums. We haven't had plums in so long, so I got plums. I normally get nectarines, but these are big. I was gonna get the small ones, but they was mad small, and they was all soft. I like them a little, what a little bite to it. <laughs> Even though I know the small ones is probably straight off the tree. <laughs> got some two red onions. Red onions is better than white onions. I used to always get white onions because that's all I remember. And plus, I like white onions, like, cause the okay, red onions right. got sweet to it, got a little sweet taste to it. But I'm saying like, it's all I really knew, especially depending on what you make. Like I used to, when I used to eat the steak that you used to make, you put that those onions in it. Certain stuff is like not those. I mean the uh, the, the other white onions. onions. So it's, it's just that you always see the white ones more. Yes. I got a big bag of baby spinach because I use it a lot. And when you cook it down, it, mm -hmm. yeah. I got my mother some lemons. I got a Napoli leaf. I'm gonna take it out the bag this time, but it's just that they, it pokes you. People call it cactus leaf, but um, it's 
called Napoli something. I forgot what kind of um uh, Yeah. I forgot kind of, I forgot kind of, <laughs> I forgot what kind of mangoes these are. But they look like the Haitian mangoes, but they not. They like uh they don't say oh it says Mexico. But it's a part a specific part of Mexico because this is also a Mexican a Mexican um mango. But it's different. These are softer and sweeter, and these are more sour, like tangy. I also got some mint, and I got some seeded watermelon. But we only had one black seed. I don't know what's going on these days. <laughs> like all of the seeds look like. Mm -hmm. But this is the first time I saw a seeded watermelon in a long time. The last thing I got is a papaya. Now he want to leave. What's something else? Something else. Now he want to leave when he just cried to stay at the window. So y'all, it is the next day. Don't mind my AC in the background, but it is the next day. And I am currently taking my braids out. The whole back is already out. But I decided to end this vlog here because I'm going to start a new one. Tomorrow I'm going out of town. So I'm going to take y'all with me and that's going to be on the next vlog. Oh, update on my son. My son is feeling a lot better. I did a couple of remedies. You could go follow me on TikTok to see um, how that turned out. He had a fever because he had an ear infection. I ordered him some ear drops and um, they still have not gotten here. So I resorted to putting an uh, onion on his ear while he was asleep. And y'all he woke up and he's been fine he's been himself like he was still a little bit tired and stuff like that but he has not complained about his ear he hasn't said ear every other day before that he said ear so that's why i put two and two together like i think his ear is bothering him today he has not said he, um ear and right now he's currently taking a nap so yeah that's the update um on my son other than that i spent my day packing and stuff like that and you know what brain fog stop playing with me dig on my package i hate to be ending this video looking like this but y'all like my nails press ones from dollar general anyways thank you guys so much for watching like comment and subscribe mostly subscribe because it's free, it don't cost no money, stop playing, come on. We need to get to a band. See y'all next video.